Dak Prescott failed the Cowboys against the 49ers. And I'm going to let you know why, right? But before I get to Dak, I'm going to call out Mike McCarthy. We started that game off right, right? Balance. Run, pass, run, pass. Perfect balance. In the first half, we went up 10-6, to six, right? But I noticed something. At the end of the first half, those drives, right? The last two drives, we was pass happy. We didn't run the ball at all. We were just passing, passing, passing. And that's a recipe for disaster, right? Because the defense, they don't have to even play, like even think about us running. They just focus on passing, passing, passing. Mike McCarthy, what's up with that, man? Like, you failed the Cowboys with that in that aspect, right? Where you just was pass happy, man. Come on. That's the reason why we got rid of Kellen Moore, right? Because he was pass happy. He didn't run the ball. Like, what happened, bro? We was perfect balance, right? Run, pass, run, pass. It's like, I was like, oh, Zeke was getting some good runs, right? Even Dalvin Cook got some good runs, right? It's like... It doesn't even matter about the average, right? How much we're averaging on a run. Just let's make sure the defense can even think. They have to even, they have to think that we're going to run. Like, they can't just be like, no, they're not running. We're, they're just going to pass, right? That's too easy for, for them, right? It's like, if you don't even have to even think about something else, then you're good as a defense, right? And that's a... Recipe for disaster for Dak, right? He can't just pass, pass, pass. He's a play-action quarterback. He's not a drop-back quarterback where he's just dropping back, picking off the defense. He's not Peyton Manny. He's not Drew Brees, right? Let's, let's just make sure we understand that. And Mike Zimmer. What's up, Mike Zimmer, man? Look, I noticed Brock Purdy running, running. He ran eight times for 56 yards. Why we didn't have a spy on him. After he was getting first down, after first down, after first down, why didn't we have a spy? We could have had Overshone spy, spy him. That's what we did for Deshaun Watson. We had a spy on Deshaun Watson in the first game, right, when we played the Browns. Bro, Brock Purdy was killing us with his, with his legs. He wasn't like killing us with his arm in the first half. In the second half, he started to think like, all right, my passes is off. I'm going to run. And that's what helped him win that game, helped him gain that big lead. The fact that we had to think, oh, dang, this fool running. Get him first down, got the first downs. I'm like, what's going on? Mike Zimmer, why no spot? And another thing, Mike Zimmer, Donovan Wilson was getting murdered, literally murdered all game long by George Kittle. Getting killed, right? Big play after big play after big play. And you didn't bench him. Why didn't you bench Donovan Wilson? Why is he still starting, bro? At least, right? I can, I can understand he starts the game, right? And then when he gets burned twice, let's put him on the bench and insert Wanya Thomas. Why didn't we do that, man? Why didn't we adjust? It's like the same thing kept killing us. Brock Purdy was killing us uh, like on his, his quarterback runs, right? Why we didn't spy him. Donovan Wilson getting murdered out there. I'm talking about cooked, like cooked. And we didn't adjust. We didn't get him out of there. We didn't sit him on the bench so he wouldn't be able to hurt us anymore, right? At least try another player to see if that's going to work, man. Because obviously Donovan Wilson... It's not working. He didn't work last time we played the uh, Niners. He needs not. He didn't work this time we played the Niners, right? The same result. That's the definition of insanity, right? Trying to, you, you're repeating the, the same thing, expecting different results. That's the definition of insanity. And that's what Mike Zimmer is. He's insane. Now, let me get to Dak Prescott. Dak, 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 Dak. Dak, you failed the Cowboys, man. You failed us. Like, completely failed us. And you know how you failed us? For one thing, your accuracy is 
terrible. Just terrible. It's like Dak can play like in that first like couple of series, like Dak was was accurate. You know what I mean? He, he was passing, passing. He was he was hitting his passes. And then all of a sudden, his accuracy took a nosedive, bro. Like you you in a jet, bro, and you trying to fly under the radar. That's what Dak did. He could have hit nothing. Missed passes. And then I'm not even thinking about the run game. I don't want to even hear about the run game. Dak, you just can't hit nobody, bro. Passes all over the place. Like over people's heads. Like to people's feet. You threw that pass to CD Lamb foot, bro. I'm like, bro, what was that? And the interceptions. I know Terrence Steele was selling. I know Terrence Steele was selling. I know he was selling. But Dak, bro. Launch your pass, a deep bomb with the safety at the, over the top to Turpin. What was that? That didn't make no sense at all. And then this, the interception to CD Lamb, bro. Like, what were you thinking? Like, you was praying to God, like, please God, make 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 this pass work. Make this pass work. What were you thinking, bro? Throw the ball away, man. You don't need to press. Throw the ball away. I'd rather you throw it away and make it like have an incompletion than to shoot yourself and the team in the foot by turning the ball over, bro. Two turnovers a game. That's how many turnovers you you're averaging right now, Dak. Two turnovers a game. And the main thing I see out of Dak right now, the main thing, you will not run the ball at all, even though it's open for you. You're in the pocket just dancing around the pocket like you actually have accuracy, bro. I know sometimes you, you, you're you accurate, right? And, but it turns off. Bro, when you start to sense that you, you, can't, you can't hit nothing, you can't hit a bullseye, bro, start using your feet like Brock Purdy did. That's why he had 56 yards. That's why he won the game because he was getting first downs, my boy. Even if you don't get first downs, bro. At least make the defense think that you're going to run, bro. There was lanes open for you to run. You don't have to. I know you're terrified of breaking your ankle again, bro. You have to run and slide. Just slide, my boy. Just slide. You don't have to take those crazy hits. But you have to give the defense something else to think about. Right? Or it's over for you, bro. And... Jerry signed, signs the Dak to this big multi-deal, bro. And I see that's a glaring, that's a big weakness in you, Dak, bro. That's what made set you apart. The fact that you could run and pass, right? Now you're just a pocket passer, bro. Your accuracy ain't good enough to be just a pocket passer. You have to run when you need to. Not just run like you, Lamar Jackson. I know you're not Lamar Jackson. But just like Brock Purdy did, you need to run when you have to, my boy. Run with you when you have to. Bro, or we're cooked. We're cooked, bro. And we're going to be cooked for four years because we're going to be looking at you stuck with Dak Prescott, the pocket passer. Bro, you're not Drew Brees. You're not Peyton Manny. You're not Tom Brady, my boy. Use your feet or we're cooked.